F1 from Japan, NASCAR from the Bathurst 1000. No, better yet, how about Aussie V8 supercars at Bathurst, their biggest race of the year. I do have a comment about NASCAR, who is at their biggest high bank oval of the year, Talladega. But the picture here may tell you where I'd be going with that comment. In F1, Vettel ties the great Fangio for his career win count, 24, and almost ties Alonso in the 2012 championship points. Five races to go, Sebastian's only four points behind. And as everyone was shown with the Japan race, a win is 25 points. So with Vettel P1 and Alonso DNF, Fernando's 29 point lead going in got nixed. In Australia with V8 supercars, they were at pa Mount Panorama. I'll be honest, I did not watch every minute of the 6 hour, 621 mile, 1000 kilometer race, but I did watch enough, especially the last 50 laps to settle in my mind what makes this racing so incredible and credible. The track, the drivers, the cars, the TV coverage, it was all brilliant. Hey, they even made fuel saving interesting to watch. So today, F1 and V8 supercars. Oh, by the way, the New Jersey Grand Prix for 2013 has Bernie Ecclestone issuing proclamations of doubts again. But the New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, says, hey, there's no problem. How does he know? Christie simply asked the guy trying to make the Grand Prix happen, Leo Hendry, if everything was okay. He, Hendry, told me it's absolutely happening. So, two translations here. One, Christie checking with Hendry is like me calling Goldman Sachs to check if the crap financial stuff they sold me is a problem. And two, Christie just had Hendry vouch for his credibility. And this being New Jersey, a trip to the marshes, the Meadowlands, if this Grand Prix doesn't work out, you know, leave the gun, take the cannolis type of godfather thing. And you think Bernie's the only tough guy when it comes to this Grand Prix? So the New Jersey Grand Prix could be or couldn't be. But the Grand Prix Americas in Austin is happening. But now how about this news? Montreal is losing their NASCAR nationwide race, but is now talking about trying to replace it with German touring cars, DTM, in 2014. Which would be a nice compliment to a Grand American Le Mans sports car race, right? Okay, F1 in Japan time. And Lotus sucks. Not because we really don't know what future cars they are canceling or building, like this Esprit, is it on or is it off? or what racing programs are dead or not, like this Rebellion, Lola, Lotus, Toyota, whatever. No, Lotus sucks because of the start of the Japan Grand Prix. And you can see what's about to happen here if you look at Kimi in the grass and Grosjean God knows where. Kimi was supposed to rub off on the skills of Roman Grosjean, not the other way around. First corner in, Alonso's done in by Kimi, and Roman butt buddies Weber. <laughs> this guy's been up the back of more F1 drivers than the doctor doing the annual physical. Okay, Vettel ran away with the race in Japan. And Vettel's good, but it really was all about the double DRS that Adrian Newey gave him. There's a 15 centimeter unregulated space in the center of the car underneath the rear wing in that diffuser area. And literally with the double DRS, Vettel, like Lotus and Mercedes are trying to do, is blowing air when the DRS opens up into that area to reduce drag, not just for the beam wing, the second wing underneath the main wing, but also the diffuser itself. And it's a system that's simpler and less complicated than what Mercedes and Lotus were trying to do. Typical Newey. So Adrian Newey's found a simpler but very effective solution to the double DRS issue. Which reminds me, this being Columbus Day, of the story of Christopher Columbus and the egg. You know, after Columbus discovered America or the West Indies, he was with the lords of Spain trying to collect his money. And one of the lords basically said, you know what, that was pretty good, but anyone could do that. Christopher asked for an egg and said, if you can make it stand up on end, show me. No one at the table could, so Christopher grabbed the egg, slammed it down the table, flattening the bottom, making it stand up and proclaiming, once someone shows you how to do something, of course it's easy. Point made. Hey, maybe Bernie should send the New Jersey Grand Prix a dozen eggs in the Austin race program to get them motivated. Back to the race, and Alonzo's not dead because Massa showed that the Ferrari car is still good. He finished P2. So at the end of the day, I know there are a lot of points contenders, but it's down to Vettel versus Alonso for the rest of the season. Five races to go, and it's going to be mega. Let's talk about the trade partners, Lewis Hamilton, Perez, and the Mercedes F1 team, because they all sucked. Sorry if I'm using technical terms here. I'm just trying to dumb it down for you guys to complain. Hamilton was lost. Said he got lost in setup. Then he said he lost Button as a Twitter partner. Maybe he's just lost his mind. 
and Perez was wild in the race, off track, and then finally spun out of the race. But Kobayashi shined for Sauber and for himself in his home country, finishing P3, maybe saving his ride for next year. Maybe Massa did the same thing. Korea's next, next weekend. But Korea already announced their $27 million in the hole. God, Bernie maybe better send more eggs to get them motivated too. And by the way, guess who won last year's Korea race? Vettel. So this championship is on. Let's talk about V8 supercars. The 2012 race at Bathurst was another one for the record. Biggest crowd ever, 207,000 people over the four days, and everyone was greatly entertained. Jamie Wincup and his co-driver Paul Dumbrell in Holden held off David Reynolds and Dean Canto in their Ford, and Craig Lowndes and Warren Luff in the other Vodafone car for the win. The last laps were absolutely mesmerizing. Lounge was awesome moving up. There was no passing between one and two, but you know what? The action, action was fantastic. The TV shots were great. You really felt what was going on. And YouTube carried the race live. Oh, by the way, Drive, are we getting in on this live stream game? I hope so, because it was really good. And next year, in V8 Supercars, Mercedes and Nissan join the series. By the way, that series is coming to Austin in 2013. So there's another must-see, must-attend event which was all versus the Talladega NASCAR race, where everything big was simply the news of the big crash. And if you needed a more blatant A-B comparison, and we do A-B comparisons in racing all the time, NASCAR Talladega, Bathurst 1000. So here's the question of the day. When you look at all the races over this past weekend, we had Helmut Marco criticizing Sebastian Vettel for cutting fast laps at the end. Why did he need to do that? We have the NASCAR guys talking about how they were dragging the brake to make the racing close and make the racing and drafting work. And we had the end of the Bathurst 1000 where basically they were on fuel saving mode, so they weren't up full tilt. Here comes the question. If the cars aren't going 100% of their speed and capacity, but the racing is still great, does it bother you? Is it still real racing to you? That's the question. I'll see you this Friday.